What's up, yo? It's your boy Mikey Reyes. You already know, back on my channel for your midday quick two. And I just want to thank you all, man, yesterday. So, kind words to you. Of course, a lot of you noticed the new cam. And I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy, man, that we're slowly upgrading. And it feels like. Alam mo yung takot ka mag invest kasi hindi mo alam hanggang sa naman talaga yung buhay ng channel mo or yung buhay ng ginagawa mo. Kasi feeling mo temporary lang naman to eh. So, ba't ako mag invest But because you guys are just really so supportive and I really enjoy the love from you guys and how you guys let me know how you, much you enjoy our content here on the channel. And also, man, like quality people are messaging me. I'm not saying naman wala, kay, wala quality iba, but I'm saying like kahit yung mga basketball players, coaches, and all those people, yung mga legit basketball personalities have been messaging me and reaching out and saying na talagang they admire what we're doing here. It gives them a platform to be honest. It gives them a platform na hindi sila matatakot, na mamiscote, na misunderstand. And man, at the end of the day, I will always be pro player, pro coach, pro, gener pro general manager. Kasi, di ba, kumbaga, you need... A platform or you need like an outlet na I, I'm not doing it for the views I'll be honest with you of course I'm making money off this but what I'm saying is hindi ako nagki-clickbait hindi ako gumagawa ng issue para lang magkaroon ng views like I get it straight from the source and natutuwa lang ako when people reach out and even these personalities na talagang they feel safe if they go on the show and or if they watch the shows or the segments, natutuwa sila. So I appreciate all of you, man, for all the support. And yes, I bought a webcam because I feel like we're going to do this for a very, very long time. And please let me know if you agree. Please let me know if you have any suggestions or you want to talk about certain stuff that, you know, that would interest you guys. Because at the end of the day, man, I just want you all to enjoy our basketball content. And to those who haven't subscribed, man, I have a new camera. It's, it looks good. To be honest, I'm looking at myself right now. Come on, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Oh, and guys, people have been telling me na to encourage you guys to hit the like button also dun sa videos. Kasi daw mas maganda daw yung ganon, something like that. But yeah, hit the link down in the description if you're interested in joining the community. And also, guys, merch is on the way. Merch is on the way. Um, yeah, a lot of things happening, a lot of growth on the channel. We're at 22,000 subscribers. I appreciate all of you. And yeah, midday quick two time with y'all. I mean, with me, my curious. Alright? Alright. Okay, so yesterday when I released that quick two about the four Phil Amps, na medyo wala pa din, like nagintay tay ng himala if they can actually join the draft. Tawang tawa ka, cause an article came out yesterday wherein <laughs> not just the Phil Amps, di lang palayo ng in danger of making it to the draft. You got guys like Jericho Han Misi. You got guys like Andre Paras, Alex Stockton, and Tyrus Hill. It's funny to me lang. Hindi ko alam ko ano exactly yung mga kulang sa papers nila. But it's just funny to me. When I saw it, I was like, didn't these guys play UAAP? Didn't these guys just play UAAP? And we actually saw them like in the UAAP Filipino school. They played with Filipinos. They weren't considered as imports. They were considered as locals. They were... Kung bakit, natawa lang ako, honestly. Hindi ko alam ano yung formality. I don't know what they're missing. Yung papers nila na hindi pa ba obvious. Diba, I'm not dissing the PBA at all, ah. I mean, if they have their own process, if they have their own requirements, then that's on them. Natawa lang ako kasi, di ba, di ba, nag-UAP to? Di ba nag-FEU to? Naglaro to kay Coach Olsen. Ito, di ba nag-Adamson to si Jerry Kahanmi? Si four years to nag-UAP, guys. Four years in the UAAP. His older brother is in the PBA, which I can't say because Brandon Gwendoelas Rosser is having problems when his older brother is in the PBA. Minsan lang, yung mga basic stuff, like, obvious ba? But, you know, I don't know about the, the papers. I don't know really what the requirements are. Kasi ako, di naman nila ako hiningan, even though I'm like, Phil Am, you know. <laughs> Pero yeah, natawa lang ako. And I'll be honest with you guys. I went on Instagram. I messaged my guys, mainly Alex Stockton and Jerica and Misi. I said, what's this I've been reading on the papers? Like, I mean, what's this I've been reading about your papers? And you know, come on, man. Like, huh, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to see you two in the league. And yeah, they told me that, yeah, it was for formality's sake. And I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know. They're safe. They're safe. I don't know about Andre Paras. I haven't really talked to Andre Paras because he hasn't returned my messages. Andre! Senior lang ako dati nito ni Andre. Ngayon di na ako sinasagot. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Andre's just too busy, to be honest with you. But Alec and Jeric, I got on a, I got on Instagram to talk to them and I let them know. Na, oh, I asked them straight up, like, are we okay? Are we gonna see you in the draft? And they're the two people that I was, let's say, affected the most. Kasi... 
they're my boys. You already know I support Jeric and Alec all the way, and I'm excited to see them in the league. So to those who are worried about at least about Jeric and Alec, I haven't talked to Cyrus Hill. I Cyrus Hill. Gusto kasi talaga maputa si Cyrus Baguio dito. Kuya Sai, come on man, Barek. Cyrus Hill. I haven't really talked to him. I only talked to Jeric and Alec. I don't know the other names. Nanan don. Medyo nagulat lang ako dun sa Jeric and Missy and Alec Stockton. So yeah, I talked to them and I think they're good. Um. Hindi ko sana mabate, but Alec even sent me photos of his papers, which hindi ko naman naintindihan kung ano yung nakasulat. But to me, importante lang sa akin is, they're gonna make it, they're gonna make it, guys. As to the other Phil Amps, the four Phil Amps that we were talking about yesterday to this point, at this point, it's it's March 4 already, guys. Hanggang bukas na lang. May himala pa ba si Jason Brickman, Brandon Ganuelas Rosser? May himala pa ba, di ba, si Jeremiah Gray? And of course, Jason Brickman. I don't know, I don't know, but you know, it's a long day. I think the deadline is tomorrow pa naman. Mga 6 p.m. ata tomorrow. So, they got like basically two days to get it going. I don't even know if they're in the country. To be honest with you, I don't even know if they're in the country. Oh, actually, I read that about Tyro Seal. Wala dito sa country si Tyro Seal. So, how is he going to fix his papers? It's just a crazy time because of the situation. The draft is on it. Is is happening in 10 days. Diba? Deadline is tomorrow. And the situation where you just can't fly in and out of the country that easy naman compared to before. Diba? I think that's a situation that we've all known. Diba? So, I just wish him the best, to be honest with you, because I all want I want to see all of them in the PBA. It's funny how the PBA is still twelve teams per in time. But let me touch on that on tomorrow's quick two. I've seen a lot of comments talking, asking me about my thoughts on PBA expansion. I'ma talk about that tomorrow, I promise. All right. So for today, yun lang. I'ma just I'm just telling you guys. I was in a conversation with Jerica and Misi and Alex Stockton. They're good, all right. They're gonna be submitting their papers, I think, today or tomorrow, and yeah, they'll be they'll be of, they'll officially be in the draft. Okay, yun lang naman. Yun lang naman ang gusto ko sabihin. Para dun sa mga kinabahan, sa mga fans ni Jeric and ni Alec, we're good, man. We're good. All right. So that's that. Tomorrow night PB expansion. I promise. Okay. And there you have it, man, for your midday quick too. I just appreciate you guys for letting me spend time with you in between your online classes and your lunch breaks. And I appreciate all of you. I promise you the quality of our videos will keep on improving. Kasi nga, grabe grabi kayo support at grabe kayo magmahal at grabe kayo magsend ng kind words sa akin. Please just help me by, you know, hitting that like button. Hopefully hit that subscribe button. If you haven't hit that, I don't... If you haven't hit that, I've hit that. <laughs> I love you. I love you, baby. <laughs> I appreciate all of you. All right. The name is Mikey Reyes. Uh, take care of yourselves. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> the name is Mikey Reyes. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace and love. And I'm going to see you all later tonight for the usual segments. Oh, and by the way, you heard it here first. To those watching right now, we have a new segment coming up next week with VC Hoops. Please hit that follow button on Instagram. Again, it's at VC Hoops. More or less, you get what I'm saying. All right, it'll be VC Breakdown with your boy Mikey. Yep, kung if you follow nyo siya, nakikita nyo yung content na nilalabas niya. Alam nyo kung nilalabas natin next week. All right, I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, y'all are too. So yeah, I'm gonna see you tonight for the usual segments and next week for that new one. My name is Mikey Reyes again, and I'm gonna see you soon.